Hello and welcome to the 10th lesson of the AGR SketchUp course. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to use the circle and the polygon command. In order to activate the circle tool, you can click on this icon over here. And, this, and if this is not showing over here, you could click on the drop down menu and then choose circle. Or you could press C on keyboard to activate the circle tool. Or you could go to draw, shapes, and then click on this circle. There are three ways to draw a circle inside of SketchUp, just like drawing a line. I will press C to activate the circle tool and then click once to in identify the center point of the circle and then move your cursor and release the left mouse button when you're satisfied with the radius. The second way to draw a circle is to click once and then move your cursor and then click once again to confirm that circle. The third way to draw a circle is to click once, move your cursor, and then type a value, like for example 10, and then press the Enter key. You can see that these circles are made up of several edges. For example, this has 24 segments, or 24 sides. You can increase or decrease these sides to make the circle smoother or more jagged. So for example, I will activate the circle uh, tool again and then click over here and then move to the right and then type a value. For example, if I type 10 and then followed by an S, this will create a 10-sided polygon for us or 10-sided circle for us. And then we could type, for example, 50S and this will create a more smoother circle, or 100S. Keep in mind that the more segments you have, the slower the SketchUp model will be. So increase the value according to your need. So I will type 10 and then press the Enter key. You can change this sides or segments as long as you have not changed the command. So for example, now I will change this to 24S and this will be 24 segments or 100 segments. Uh, and when you press escape or space on your keyboard, this will cancel that command. And now when you type 24S, this will not work. So how can we change the sides of this circle now? We can click on this edge and then we can go to entity info or we could right click and then choose Entity Info. And you can see that we have segments over here. So now we can change this one to 24, for example. And this will change the segments for us. Or we could change the radius. So for example, we could type 5. And this will shrink that circle for us. So let's now move on to the Polygon tool. In order to activate the polygon, you can click on this drop down menu and then click on this polygon. Or you could assign a shortcut for this one. Uh, I've assigned shift plus C because C is for circle and uh, polygon is so similar to circle that uh, I chose shift plus C to keep in mind. So in order to assign this shortcut, you can go to window preferences and then go to shortcuts and then search for polygon and then click over here and then press shift plus C and then click on this plus sign to add this over here and then press OK and when you do so you can see that the polygon now has a shortcut assigned to it you can also activate the polygon tool by going to the draw, shapes, and you can find the polygon over here. So I will press shift plus C to activate the polygon tool. And now we can create polygons just as we did for the circle. There are three ways to draw polygons. So we can click once and then type a value, for example, 10, and then press the Enter key. 
And you can change also the sides of this polygon. So for example, 4S will give you a square, 5S, pentagon, 6S, hexagon, or 3S, a triangle, or 8S, octagon, and how many sides that you want. It's up to you. So as you can see, there is a dotted circle around this polygon, and this means that the circle now, the polygon is now inscribed. And if you want to uh, make it circumscribed, you can press Ctrl on your keyboard to make it circumscribed. Or you could press the Ctrl key again to make it inscribed. So I will uh, type 10 and then press the Enter key to create that polygon. I can create a polygon with 24S, which makes it similar to the circle tool. If I type 10 for the radius and then press the Enter key and create a circle over here with the same radius, you can see that these, uh, the polygon and the circle are both the same. There is no difference. You can't see any difference between these two, uh, circle and the polygon. But as soon as I push pull this polygon and circle, you can see the difference. The circle is a smooth surface, but the polygon, you can see that it's made up of several planes and you can see the edges. So this concludes the 10th lesson of the AGR SketchUp course. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.